Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a little update and uh, re-explained uh, simply what uh, it is. So Microsoft has updated its .NET Core that is or .NET Framework if you want and it is basically now at 5.0 uh, the new version and as they say here it is a free cross-platform, open-source developer platform. Uh, so we talked about it in the past, .NET. A lot of us have .NET and .NET Framework and stuff installed on our PCs, but not a lot of people really know what it is and what it does. Um, so .NET uh, is simply a aggregation of code that is used all the time. So for example, when you have a program that requires to say, um, you know, print. Well, the printing on Windows, you would have to write in that program all of the code and make that little program that explains to Windows how to go and print. Well, instead of that, .NET will have already the code for printing. So instead of having to, you know, take the time to write that code to explain to Windows how to go and print, well, now you just use the code that's already available in .NET. So the program will download .NET so that it could use the code that's already existing to do certain stuff that it's doing all the time. Um, another example is displaying on the screen. Um, the program would need to explain to Windows how to display some of the windows on the screen. Well, here, .NET will actually have the code to do that. So instead of writing the code and taking some time to write that, you just use code that already exists in this uh, .NET framework. So it's just to say that .NET 5.0 is released. So if you do install programs and suddenly see .NET 5.0 on your PC, it will eventually happen, uh, just to let you know that it's out. And it's the uh, same uh, updated core. It has a lot of uh, uh, new features. It supports also ARM 64 bits. Um, it has, of course, new C sharp and F sharp language features. It uh, also has um, all sorts of web and cloud um features that weren't in the original or the older versions and uh, all sorts of Windows desktop development and enhancements. Now you might ask, oh, well, I need to go and download this. No, don't download it unless you really want it. Or if you're a developer, of course, you'll get it. But um, this will come with whatever software that you actually uh, will install. So if one program that you have needs it, it will download it automatically. So it's not something that you need to actually download, but I wanted to talk about the fact that it was now available for um, programmers, developers, and um, basically um, if you see .NET 5.0 on your machine, you'll know what it is. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.